Here's the exact methodology I used to stack $100,000. Now, the most I'd ever saved in my life was around $15,000. I'd get to about this level, and then I'd fuck it up, and I'd blow some of it, and I used to hover around $10,000. So what I decided to do is take that $10,000, which I called my limit, which I used to think that's about the amount of money that I think is a lot of money and that I want to hold on to, and I thought, I've got to break this limit and I've got to 10 times it. So I set it at $100,000 and I thought, how will I save $100,000? Now you might be listening to this and thinking, there's no way I can save 100K. But take the first principle. One, what's the limit? What do you usually kind of sit around before you then start spending a bit or you blow it and you end up back there and you think, I can't quite seem to keep going past that. Take that and your new target needs to be 10 times what your limit is. So get your target and get your limit, times that by 10, that's gonna be your target. Now what I did from there is I saved 40% of all of my after tax money. Now that's really fucking hard as well. I know that. I've done a whole podcast on this so you can go and listen to about half an hour of how I did that search for Keep the Change and you'll find that podcast. It's one of the most listened to podcasts. But I had to figure out how could I do this and how could I do it faster. So I changed the way that I lived and I had to decrease my expenses and I had to figure out how can I live within 60% of my after tax income. This meant that I had less of a life. I couldn't do as many things and I had to be really disciplined and figure this part out. Now the third piece what I would do is I would get my 40% of my cash after tax and I would go straight off out of sight, out of mind to my sister. And I would say, Sister K, do not give this cash back to me. I'm trying to save and stack $100,000. And she would say, rightio mate, you've got a bit on, but that's okay, I can do that for you. So what this allowed me to do is not see my limit and think, oh, I've got like nearly double that now, I should go and buy something. It was out of sight, it was out of mind for it. But what I would also do is I would track it. Every month, I would be tracking where am I at? How close am I? Am I getting closer? Because your brain loves progress. Then you can see how long you've actually got to go. Now, the next thing I realized is this is gonna take a long time. I need to make some extra cash on the side. So I explored side hustles and I found ways that I could earn some extra cash. Then I got more impatient and I thought, I wonder if I could invest some of this money into some projects. And I'd look for the odd project and think, can I get a 20% return on that? Can I turn 10 grand of this into 12 grand? That's gonna make it a little bit faster for me to do this. And luckily for me, I was able to do that. That's a really hard piece, so we're not gonna go too deep into that because that's a whole podcast on its own. But that was an extra way of how I sped up the process. So for some people, you might be able to find ways to invest it and get a return from it to speed up this process. Now, the next thing that I did is that I saved 100% of bonus money that I come into. Someone might have owed me money from the past or I might have got a bonus from my employment or my business, for instance, whatever it is for you, and you go, no, no, I don't need that. That's not part of the routine. You know, you're not saving 40% of that, you're saving 100% of it. So you keep yourself living off of this 60% up here of your weekly or your monthly income, and you try to save 100% of any bonus or extra cash you come into, Christmas cash, whatever, like bang, it all goes in there 100%. Now, of course, this is gonna completely change the person of who you are, because to do some of the stuff, I had to tidy up some debt, I had to get serious about getting rid of a cue card, and for you, it might be buy now, pay later, or your credit card, or whatever. So you'll start to tidy up some of the shit that's bringing you down and holding you back, and those things are often the things that are creating bad habits for you, like, oh, I'll just put that on the credit card, buying shit you don't need, and then when you're gonna pay cash flow if you're trying to live off your 60%, you might be more inclined not to do it. So what I want you to do from here is go back through this methodology and think about what your target is and then how you're going to do this and then give yourself a time frame as well. You don't need to just try and do it within three months. Your aim is to actually do it because we're trying to recreate what our limit is for ourselves of what we think is amount of money that we can actually save and then we become somebody different through that process as well. I've got a podcast, like I say, around saving 40% of my income and wrapping up how I save this 100K. So there's about an hour of learning for you there and a video on changing your vehicle because I had to do that too. I could identify that where I wanted to go in my life, I couldn't do it in my job. I had to get out of that vehicle and get into a new one, and that was business for me, and that allowed me to free up some time to do some side hustling and investing in some of the projects that I could see that were gonna generate me a return as well. So I had to change the vehicle. So you might wanna go and watch the video that I've done on that as well to help you understand that more as well. Now, there'll be some of you that will just go, oh, good enough for you, mate, oh, you're privileged. Like, whatever bullshit you wanna throw at me, that's all good, that's not gonna help you save the cash. But some of these things in here will. So take two or three of them, have a crack at them, and get after it rather than trying to drag other people down that are trying their hardest to try and get ahead or save some extra cash. You can have a crack at this, anybody can. Start with some small changes and watch how important and how impactful they become over a long period of time.